Covington firefighters were among the many rescue crews sent to Martin County's coal plant collapse. They were told two workers were trapped under steel, and it was their job to try and save them. You know, there's been people trapped in the parking garages, and, and so we, it definitely happens, but the severity of this being, you know, the steel structure and how big the structure was, um, it was definitely ranks on top of severity. All SIP has been with the department for 19 years. He says the hardest part about the operation was moving the rubble without causing another collapse. Four of them were trained for this type of rescue and even helped with the 2021 Surfside condo collapse in Florida. So all we saw was metal laying there, right, and some concrete. So that part is difficult when you don't know what you're looking at, what it used to be, and then trying to figure out how it used to be and where stuff would be in this building. The Covington firefighters were going against time and the weather. They had to layer up to keep warm in the 20 degree temperatures. And after multiple 12 hour shifts, they say they came back covered in coal dust. We didn't know the second victim where his location was. So it was a matter of finding him using canines. The two missing coal plant workers died. Allsip says even if a rescue becomes a recovery, they were determined to find the person so the family could get closure. Kind of look at something like that and you go, all right, well, this is real. So, but our job is to go in there and we, we work our way to that, that person, shoring it up as we go and formulate a plan from there on how to get the person out. In Covington, Paige Barnes, Local 12 News. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.